Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem on Windows 11 operating system. In the first step, simply right click here and select run. Then we need to type REG edit and click on OK. Now select S. On this window, we need to expand HKEY current user. Then expand system folder. Then expand game config store just select it on the right side right click on game dvr enabled select modify then change the value data as zero click on ok and from game dvr behavior mode select modify and change value data as two click on ok now on the same registry editor window we need to expand h key local machine then expand software folder now just scroll down and expand microsoft folder here we need to scroll down and search for policy manager just expand it then expand default folder again just scroll down and search for application management and just expand it then select allow game dvr and on the right side we need to right click on value select modify change the value data as to zero click on ok now close this window and simply right click on the taskbar and select task manager click on run new task then click on browse button now go to this PC open C drive then open Windows folder now find out system32 folder simply double click on it to open it then find out cmd.exe file select it and click on open now check this box and click on OK once we are here we need to execute some commands and hit enter to execute them type all these commands carefully type prompt and hit enter then type sfc slash scan file equal to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash ie frame dot dll and hit enter then type in sfc slash verify file equal to c colon slash windows slash system32 slash ie frame dot dll again we need to hit enter to execute this command after that type asoc a double s o c and hit enter then type in chk dsk and hit enter this will take some time to complete the process so we need to wait for it once done we will simply move to the next command that will be sfc space slash scan now this will also this process will also take time so we need to wait for the complete process once done we need to close this command prompt and restart the system so that's it guys your problem will be solved and you're good to go don't forget to like the video and please do subscribe the channel